Hello everybody, this is 53 Plays. Welcome to part 21 of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. We're out here in the entrance hall. Dumbledore is waiting right there for us to go in. But we have lots more to do in this game before we can go um, see who wins the House Cup. First of all, now let's go ahead and save our game. And there are, there are quite a few things we can do. Look at that. Look at that up there. That looks magnificent and very elegant. First of all, what I want to do before we go to the House Cup is finish up the gnome tossing. That's one thing we can do. We can also go ahead and return Lee Jordan's tarantula. Is another thing. And we can also buy a few more cards up at Fred and George's shop. If we go to our Remember All, we have only 48 beans. Um and five sink pellets and nine balloons. And another potion vial, which I didn't even fill up for some reason. Um, so, I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to meet you up at Fred and George's shop and um, get a hundred beans, and then we will go ahead and return the tarantula while we're up in our house. So I will see you up in our house, in the middle of our castle. Alrighty. We are back. We are now at 100 Birdie Bots Beans. Let's go ahead and return Lee Jordan's Tarantula right here. And yes, this is our last item in the game. There were exactly 10 items which we had to fetch, and this is our last one. And so this is our last wizard card for the side quest. Number 56, Gideon Crumb. Plays the bagpipes with the Weird Sisters. They have a bagpipes player. So yeah, that's the whole side quest for lost and found items. Um, basically, yeah, you can just do that as a way to increase your house points and, you know, get um, wizard card stuff. Also, whoa, what was that on here? <laughs> it's, a, it's a kid's drawing of a witch. That's, not, that's awesome. Also, there's something up there that says, um, like, Sergio... I can't read that. Can I get any closer? Yeah, it's kind of hard to read. What's on the bottom here? Oh, just articles and drawings and stuff. Alright, so enough of that. Anyways, um, since we're here, let's go into the reading room. And I will show you that Fred and, George, Fred and George's shop will be unlocked. Flibbity gibbet. See, normally if you came here um, during the day until now, before now, it would be um, locked so we couldn't go through here. But yes, now this is unlocked. We also have another stink pellet bag, but more importantly, another Birdie Bots bean bag. How much is this Bertie Bots bean bag? 20 Bertie Bots every flavor beans. I'd like to buy that, please. We are so buying that. You can now carry more Bertie Bots every flavor beans, Harry. So yes, I do believe that this second bag appears only at the end game after you defeat the Sting master. Stink pellets are a great way to stop prefects catching you. But I didn't tell you so, that. So, um, if Did you I? wanted to um, spend this time to um, beat the mini games to get the wizard cards and stuff, then it was probably it probably would be ideal to... Um, Get the bag here for that purpose. Luminous balloons are a great way to distract prefects. All right. And annoy Percy. And also, we did get some more cards that appeared right here. Um, we got one that appeared right here. Um, so let's see. Take a look around, Potter. Let's see, what's this one? I, I think this was Albert Gordon right here, but this is a new one, I believe. How much is this famous witches and wizards card? 30, 30 bucks every flavor beans. So yeah, duplicates can appear here, but um, first I want to buy the um, other ones that weren't here before. Is there anything here that interests that, you? That were always here. How much is this famous witches and wizards okay, card? Okay, not this one. 30, 30 bucks every flavor beans. What about this? The limited edition All right, there's pretty bot card. What does that cost? 30, 30 bucks every flavor beans. And let's go ahead and buy this. I'd like to buy that, please. Bertie Bot, an excellent purchase, Harry. His real genius was in the invention of the unreleased dog spit flavored bean. And I wonder what color that would be. Purple? Black? I don't know. Number 69, Bertie Bot. 1935 to present, inventor of the every flavor beans. And what's this one? How much is this famous okay, Witches it's and Wizards not, card? Okay, it's Bertie, another Bertie Bot, every unknown flavor beans. One. Okay, what about this? This Beatrix Bloxham All right, Beatrice card. Blocks them. How much is it? 30 Bertie Bots every flavor beans. Yeah, let's go ahead and purchase this. I'd like to buy that, please. 
Beatrix Bloxham. If only we had her talent. Apparently, one of her readers was continuously sick for three whole weeks. I wonder how you knew about that, Fred. Probably just reading about Beatrix, Beatrix Bloxham. Anyways. Number 80. Beatrix Bloxham. 1794 to 1810, author of The Toadstool Tales, a series of children's books since, have since banned because they have been found to cause nausea and vomiting. Ooh. Okay, and there's also a, there was also another one too. I think it was this one. How much is this famous witches okay, and wizards card? Okay, never mind. Card? It's not that one. Thirty, thirty bucks every flavor beans. Okay, never mind. I think there was another one which I didn't get yet. Um, yeah, we obviously don't have enough beans to get anything else right now. Well, we could if we wanted to, but we have no purpose for uh, balloons or stink pellets now. Um, you know what? Actually, I want to get the stink pellet back for a sec. How much is this stink pellet bag? 20, 30 bots, every flavor beans. I'd like to buy that, please. Now you can carry more stink pellets, Harry. Okay. Okay, so we really we really got 15 more. So wow, we have 45 stink pellets now. I didn't really think you could get that month that many. So yeah, I just I didn't know that. That's cool. 45 stink pellets. I mean, if only if only we had another night of adventuring, we could use these on the, on the prefects. That would be so awesome. Luminous balloons are a great way Anyways, to um, so and now Percy. since we're down to um, zilch birdie bots beans, and we have 150 now, um, I'm gonna take this time now to get some more beans, and uh, then come back here and get these witcher, witcher cards. So let's head on out. And yeah, depending on um, how much you want to complete this game, this uh, little side quest here can take a very long time if you're striving to get all wizard cards in this game. So I'm going to head on out, get some more beans, and then I'll see you back here. Alrighty, we are back in Fred and George's shop. I went through the liberty of maxing out all my beans so now we're back at 150 out of 150 and just to ensure that we get any cards that we haven't gotten yet or that um, may be necessary for something else I'm gonna purchase as many of these as I can not explodable luminous balloons so let's start with let's go from let's go counterclockwise let's start from here how much is this famous witches and wizards card 30 30 bucks every flavor beans I'd like to buy that please that's one of our spare cards. Good luck with completing your collection, Harry. Thank you, Fred. So let's go ahead and see what this one is right here. So this is number 58, Glover Hipworth, inventor of the Pepper Up Potion, cure for the common cold. I'm sure many of us in real life could use that potion too, whenever it's winter time. Uh, let's see what this one is. How much is this famous Witches and Wizards card? 30, 30 bucks every flavor beans. I'd like to buy that, please. That's one of our spare cards. Good luck with completing your collection, Harry. Number 59, Gregory the Smarmy. Alright, there's our duplicate for Gregory the Smarmy. We can use that to trade um, with a boy on the first floor. Stink pellets are great. How much is this famous Witches and Wizards card? 30, 30 bucks every flavor beans. You know what, I think there's another card um, that was already here when we first came here. Um, I don't remember if I got that one already. I don't think I did. Oh, I did. Edgar Strolger. I got him way long ago. Never mind. So let's go ahead and get this one. How much is this famous Witches and Wizards card? 30, 30 bucks every flavor beans. I'd like to buy that, please. That's one of our spare cards. Good luck with completing your collection, Harry. So this one is... Number 98, Dimph the Firmage. We get another duplicate of Dimph the Firmage. Well, so much for that. How much is this famous Anyways, Witches this and Wizards card? 30, 30 bucks every flavor beans. I'd like to buy that, please. Good choice there, Harry. Good choice there, Harry. So let's see, which card is this? Number 13, Andros, Andros the Invincible. Invincible. We can use that to um, 
trade with that girl on the fourth floor, and there actually was another treasure chest in Moaning Myrtle's bathroom, which we can get. Um, but I'm really surprised that we got this one up here, uh, first of all. Um, so we're going to be trading um, f with that girl um, sometime soon. So let's go ahead and get Sting this one. How much is his famous Witches and Wizards card? 30 Bertie box every flavor beans. I'd like to buy that, please. If I may say so, an excellent choice, Mr. Potter. All right, that's going to be it for um, these cards for now. Number 77. Norvell and there's Norvell Twonk, our duplicate for that. So we have um, uh, three new kids we can trade with for uh, more cards. So um, let's go ahead and head on back out. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and um, resupply my beans again all the way back to 150. And while I do that, we're going to go ahead and trade with those kids for those more for those uh, those new cards. So let's head on out. Okay, I think the boy to trade for Norbel Twonk is uh, right here. I collect famous witches and wizards cards. Do you? I'll give you a card number 61, Havelock Sweeting. For a number 77, Norval Twonk. Okay, let's swap. Here you are. Okay, so he's gonna give us number 61, Havelock Sweeting. Number 61, Havelock Sweeting. A unicorn expert helped set up unicorn reservations throughout Britain. Alright, so... Actually, let's do a recap of what we have so far. Let's, and what, what, which ones uh, we need to get. We need to get number 2, 20... 40, 41, uh, 60, 70, 72, 75, 76, 79, 87, 90, 95, and 100, and 101. So we have 15 cards left in this whole game. So there's a long ways to go. Also, um, I don't know if I pointed this out already. But um, whenever you hit the jars and stuff to collect beans, um, the closer you get to um, the maximum number um, in, in your uh, bag, um, the less beans will come out of the objects that you hit. So um, once you get to, if you're at 150 and you get to about 100 while you're um, uh, getting more beans, sometimes beans won't will fail to kind of come out of the objects. So if I were down here and I was hitting this shield, if I were at about 111 beans, um, it would start to um, kick in. But whenever you're much lower than the uh, maximum you have, they'll always come out no matter what. You know, a perfect 5 out of 5 or 10 out of 10, depending on where you're at. Also, um, if I didn't show this already, if it were nighttime, sometimes when it's nighttime um, and you're on the third, in the uh, third floor hallway here, um, those glass jars will come out of the wall there and um, try to attack you. So if I didn't show that already, that's what happens at night time. So anyways, let's get these beans here, and then we'll go talk to the um, kids. Whoa, I can't even get these. Darn it. Yeah, see see what I mean? That happens sometimes. It's kind of annoying. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk to the um, kid on the first floor. Who wants to trade for uh, Gregory the Smarmy? Do you collect famous witches and wizard cards? I'll give you card number two, Cornelius Agrippa, for a number 59, Gregory the Smarmy. Okay, let's swap. Here you are. Number two, Cornelius Agrippa. Uh, there is Agrippa. Cornelius Agrippa right there, 1486 to 1535. Celebrated wizard imprisoned by the non-magical for his writings. And then there's also one, one more that I forgot, actually. Um, we have to trade for Andros the Invisible. And I think she was all the way up in the fourth floor. Way up here. So, let's see, is it this one? You played really well in yesterday's match, okay, Potter. Okay, it wasn't him. Oh, thank you for that compliment. Uh, I think it might have been this girl. I collect famous witches yeah, and wizards her. cards. Do you? I'll give you card number 75, Mungo Bunham, for a number 
for number 13, Andros the Invincible. OK, let's swap. Here you are. All right, and now we get number 75, Mungo Bonham. Number 75, Mungo Bonham. Oh, but he sort of reminds me of Morgan Freeman there. Uh, fame, he's a famous wizard healer, founded St. Mungo's Hospital for magical ailments and injuries. Alrighty, so now that that's done, I'm going to resume my bean collecting and I'll see you back up in Fred and George's shop when I'm done. Okie dokie, now we are back. We are now back at 150 beans. So let's go ahead and see what other cards they have. They have one there. Oh, they refill up quickly. Oh my goodness, so many cards to choose from, so little time. Um, Stink pellets are a great way to stop prefects catching you. Well, you know what? But we're I actually going to go ahead and buy the spell book Did while I? we're up here, but um, I don't have enough uh, currency to do two cards, though. Let's go ahead and uh, buy this one. How much is his famous Witches and Wizards card? 30 Bertie Bots, every flavor beans. I'd like to buy that, please. No doubt you'll soon be completing your collection, Harry. Okay, let's just go ahead and see what this one is. Number 60, Laverne de Montmorency. Laverne de, Mont Laverne de Montmorency, inventor of many love potions. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we have 70, 72, 76, 79, 87, 90, 95 left, and 100, 101. Um, Non-explodable luminous balloons are a great way to distract prefects hmm. and annoy Percy. You know what, actually? Um, tell you what I'm going to do. Stink are a great I'm going to come back up here eventually you. again. But I didn't tell you that. But for now, Did I? I want to go ahead and finally buy this little thing right here. This spell book. This is the Alahamora Spellbook, as Harry will uh, is there explain. Anything here? How much is the Alahamora Spellbook? 100 Bertie Bots, every flavor beans. And yep, you said it, this costs 100 beans. So, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and buy it right now. I'd like to buy that, please. The Alahamora Spell allows you to unlock mechanical locks. There are all sorts of places you'll be able to go now. And look at that. There is our last spell in the whole game. The key to unlocking unlocks certain doors and chests. Phew. We now have all the spells in the game, believe it or not. Um, and, you know, when actually when I first heard about this and first got this spell, um, I really thought that I could, you know, unlock, like, doors and, like, go to other places in Hogwarts. But unfortunately, I really can't. Because, like, um... That's just how they programmed it. So you know, like those locked doors, you know, in the entrance hall, and you know, in the cl in the uh, in the grand staircase where those like, you know, on the, on the uh, different around, floors and them. stuff. Also, like this one right here. Um, I could never get into them. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna show you what this spell does really quickly. If you equip it with, um, if you equip it to B, Y, or X. Um, you basically cast a spell on a, on a chest, or maybe a door, I don't know, and it'll um, unlock it. It's not going to work here, but this is what the spell looks like. Like that. And Harry just says, you know, Alhamora! Like that. So if we do it over here... He, sa he says it a little bit more enthusiastically. Let's see if I can get it. There we go, yeah. He says it two different ways. Um, but yeah, that's going to conclude this part for um, up here for now. I'm, I'm going to probably come back here and buy these cards at some point. I also, just for the sake of this walkthrough, I, have really, I haven't really had a need to buy this potion vial, but I might buy it just in case to um, show off what Fred says when you buy it. So um, if there's anything you'd like to know I'll about, come back here um, later on. But for now, we're going to end this part right here. And in the next part, we're going to go roam around the castle and unlock all those new chests uh, with this new spell. Is there anything so here until then, this is 53 Plays, saying stay tuned for the next part, and I will see you then. Goodbye, everybody.